Hello, upcycle clothing designers. I'm Sunju, and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I want to share how to upcycle a tank top, and I took five old tank tops and transformed them into a wearable style. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more fun upcycle projects. For this DIY spaghetti strap high neck tank top tutorial, start by folding the top in half lengthwise. Fold your favorite camisole in half and lay it on top. Measure 3 inch down from the spaghetti strap and make a straight line towards the folded tank top. Then trace the armhole with fabric chalk. To make the chest piece of the high neck tank top, only cut along the line on the front of the top. To make the back piece of the high neck tank top, draw a straight line across the back of the top just underneath the armhole. Only cut along the line on the back of the top. I like how it has a high neck front with straight back that creates elegant look. To finish the neckline, quarter inch top stitch to hem around the yoke neckline and armhole. To make the spaghetti straps, cut two pieces of 12 inch long elastic round cord. To finish the spaghetti strap, attach one end of each strap to the top of the high neck. Secure the opposite end of the elastic cord to the back of the top about 7 inches distance apart to complete this DIY spaghetti strap high neck tank top. For this DIY ruffle crop tank top tutorial, start by marking 7 inches from the hemline with fabric chalk. Cut along the line. Fold your favorite camisole in half and lay it on top. Use the placement to fit your chest and mark the top opening with fabric chalk. Cut across the line to make a tube top. Use the excess fabric to cut three separate one inch wide straps. To make the shoulder straps, cut both sides of one strap, fold each piece in half lengthwise and edge top stitch. Use a loop turner to flip each strap inside out. To make the ruffles, cut one side of the strap to double the length quarter inch. Top stitch with elastic thread, then pull on the back thread to bunch up the fabric with elastic shirring. To make the center bunching, fold the top in half to mark the center, then draw a 2 inch vertical line down from the top. Top stitch along the line with elastic thread to slightly bunch the fabric. To finish the top opening, top stitch the ruffle strap together at one end and then pin to secure and top stitch the ruffles along the top opening to create a snug fit with the elastic. To finish the shoulder straps, mark the placement of each strap and pin to secure. Edge top stitch the shoulder straps in place to complete the DIY ruffle crop top tank top. 
For this DIY rouge drawstring tank top tutorial, start by marking 5 inch from the hemline with fabric chalk. And then cut along the line. To make the drawstrings, use the excess fabric to cut two separate 1 inch wide straps. Cut one end of each strap to double the length. Fold both long straps in half lengthwise and quarter inch top stitch along the edge. Use a loop turner to flip the strap inside out to complete both drawstrings. To make the ruched center piece, use the remaining 2 inches by 12 inches piece of fabric. Pin to secure on the wrong side of the center chest. So top stitch along the center line. To finish the ruched center piece, lay one drawstring on the side of the center line and use the panel to overlap. Pin to secure the panel to hold the string in place. Top stitch the top of the drawstring to fasten and also along the side of the panel to lock the drawstring in a tunnel. Now do the same of the opposite side. To finish the ruched center piece, use the drawstrings and tie a cute bow tie with the ends to complete this DIY ruched drawstring tank top. For this DIY button front tank top tutorial, start by marking 8 inch from the hemline with fabric chalk. Then cut along the line. Use fabric chalk to trace the front neck opening onto the back piece and cut along the line to make a new neckline. Draw a vertical line in the center chest and then cut to open. Afterwards, cut a 1 inch wide strap from the excess fabric. To finish neckline, use the strap to complete a clean finish along the neck opening. Top stitch on the wrong side of the neck opening quarter inch. Fold the strap over the other side and top stitch to finish the neckline. To make the button placket, use the excess fabric to measure the vertical length of the center chest. Cut a 1 inch wide strap. To finish the button placket, edge top stitch the strap along the wrong side of the center chest opening. Pin to secure and attach the other side of the button placket with edge top stitch. To attach the buttons to the chest, lay the buttons along the button placket. Mark with chalk to measure placement. Hand sew the buttons in place to complete this DIY button front tank top.
For this DIY mock neck tank top tutorial, start by folding the top in half lengthwise, fold your favorite shirt in half and lay it on top. Trace the neckline and shoulder seam with fabric chalk. Then cut along the line to adjust the shape of the body. To make the mock neck piece, use the excess fabric from the original yoke part to cut a 4 inch by 8 inch rectangle. This really depends on how high you want the mock neck piece to be. I choose 1 inch width neckline but you can increase or decrease the neckline based on your personal preference. Next, cut the piece of fabric in half resulting in two separate 2 inch by 8 inch rectangles. Then, attach the two pieces together with top stitch on both sides. To join the shoulder seam, top stitch the new shoulder strap. To finish the mock neck, pin the mock neck piece around the neck opening, then top stitch and zigzag stitch on both sides for a clean finish along the neckline. To finish the armhole, fold quarter inch and top stitch around the arm opening to complete this DIY mock neck tank top. Thank you so much for watching this tank top upcycle tutorial. Please leave a comment below and let me know which one you like the most. What are some other ways to upcycle tank top? Share with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!